Step back into the tumultuous pages of history where the echoes of revolution resonated through the cobblestone streets of France. It was the 18th of Brumaire, 1799, a pivotal moment when the stage was set for Napoleon Bonaparte to etch his indelible mark on the canvas of time. In a daring coup that unfolded like a masterstroke, Napoleon, flanked by political allies, seized the reins of power, bringing an end to the revolutionary fervor and heralding the dawn of the consulate era. But this was merely the prologue to a saga that would see him ascend to unprecedented heights, ultimately donning the imperial crown in 1804, transforming a republic into an empire under his rule. Corsica, 1769. Birth and early years. Our journey begins on the island of Corsica in 1769, where Napoleon Bonaparte was born into a family of minor nobility. The echoes of the Enlightenment and revolutionary ideas were already shaping the young mind of Napoleon. From an early age, Napoleon showed a keen interest in military affairs. His voracious appetite for knowledge and strategic thinking would set the stage for his future exploits. Brienne Military School, 1779-1784. At the age of nine, Napoleon left Corsica for mainland France to attend the Royal Military School in Brienne. Despite facing the challenges of being an outsider, he excelled in his studies, displaying an exceptional aptitude for mathematics and a fascination with military strategy. It was at Brienne that Napoleon would lay the groundwork for his future military career, developing the discipline and leadership skills that would become his trademark. École Militaire, Paris, 1784-1785. Continuing his military education, Napoleon entered the prestigious École Militaire in Paris. Despite financial constraints, he immersed himself in a wide range of subjects, from artillery to politics, forging a comprehensive understanding of the world around him. It was during this time that he embraced the ideals of the French Revolution, a movement that would reshape the course of history and provide Napoleon with the opportunity to ascend to power. The French Revolution, 1789, 1799. The French Revolution erupted in 1789, fueled by social, political, and economic discontent. Napoleon, now a young officer, quickly rose through the ranks, proving himself on the battlefield and gaining recognition for his strategic brilliance. As France descended into chaos, Napoleon's star continued to rise. His victories in Italy and Egypt solidified his reputation as a military genius, and by 1799, he found himself at the center of political power. The coup of 18 Brumaire, 1799. On the 18th of Brumaire, November 9th, 1799, Napoleon, along with his political allies, orchestrated a coup that effectively ended the revolutionary government. This marked the beginning of the consulate era, with Napoleon as the first consul. Napoleon's consolidation of power was swift and efficient. His ability to navigate the complexities of post-revolutionary France showcased not only his military prowess, but also his political acumen. The Coronation, 1804. In 1804, Napoleon took a historic step by crowning himself Emperor of the French. This move symbolized the transformation of France from a republic to an empire under his rule. The rise of Napoleon Bonaparte had reached its zenith, but his ambitions and conquests were far from over. The saga of Napoleon Bonaparte, a man who sculpted destinies with the sword and pen, unfolds like a gripping epic. From the heights of power as the emperor of the French to the depths of exile, his story resonates through the annals of time. As we bid adieu to this exploration of a bygone era, let us reflect on the indomitable spirit that fueled Napoleon's journey. A spirit that defied conventions, reshaped nations, and left an enduring legacy. The echoes of his footsteps still linger in the corridors of power, a testament to the enduring allure of ambition, strategy, and the inexorable march of history. Until we delve into the pages of another captivating chapter, Napoleon Bonaparte stands as a towering figure, a symbol of an era when the world was remade and destinies were forged in the crucible of revolution.